Welcome everyone to the community dev update call, uh, February 10th, 2021. Um, the, we have a live test net running, uh, region ledger, um, with, uh, gosh, I guess there's 130 total validators. 119 of them are active. So some folks in jail, <laughs> but, um, yeah, very exciting. It was a big, big week uh, to get things kicked off. And uh, we'll have some news and updates from the test net, uh, be updating the community on policy for validators who missed GenTX, but are still hoping to get into the into the active set here for the incentivized to uh, test net. We'll talk a little bit about bigger news in the ecosystem, uh, give some roadmap updates, and uh, introduce the um, community calendar that we've published so that people can keep track of things happening in the testnet world since there is an awful lot of it so you can help coordinate your schedules around things so um yeah i also want to take a moment uh before diving in to welcome um dan who's our who probably you all have <laughs> interacted with already who's our new community manager so welcome dan hey how's it going thanks for welcoming me yeah and uh also welcome mircha from uh from informal who has joined our lead validator cohort so really excited to have you with us as well mircha hello everybody I'm excited to be here also Cool. Well, so with that, uh, I'll do, I'll do the usual, which is just to try to quickly run through the news and you know maybe take no more than two minutes, uh, ten minutes, so that we can keep the bulk of the call for uh, dialogue, questions, comments, um, and conversation. Uh, as always, we've got you know most of the people on this call, so any sorts of questions are welcome, whether it's about testnet or what's happening uh, on the dev side of things. Um, with Regen Ledger, the people are here to answer your questions if you've got any. And um, and also, oftentimes these calls sort of uh, work turn into working sessions, so that is a very welcome uh, welcome thing as well. So I'll uh, I'll start going through our presentation, keep it brief, and then we can we can chat. So um, Regen Ledger testnet is running. Uh, I forget we're like T minus a couple of hours to get your KYC information in before we close that down. Uh, so, you know, um, if you're watching a recording of this, it's probably too late. <laughs> if you're on with us right now, it's not too late. Uh, you can reach out uh, and communicate. You can direct message Dan if you've got questions on Discord or send an email to validators at region.network. Uh, and of course, there's pretty good uh, documentation and uh, there's pinned messages in Discord with all the instructions. Uh, there's a block explorer um, uh, uh, that Vitwit has provided. Uh, so you can go check out what's happening live on the testnet. There's a link right there. Um, I linked the GitHub repo, uh, which is the source of truth for what's happening. You know, we, we do make uh, Discord announcements and then try to also get those over to Telegram. But, uh, you know, always the source of truth is, is the GitHub repo. We try to keep it up to date. Um, and uh, I also just wanted to announce Kepler is, is working on wallet support for the testnet and our mainnet launch. We're very excited about that. So we should be able to be playing around with the user interface to be um, moving tokens around and staking and whatnot which is which is great and uh before i go on anil you're also planning on spinning up a fork of looney right at some point uh yes so maybe i'll uh, have that ready by friday yeah fantastic and so uh you can uh when you do that maybe just push an announcement about it um so we'll have two wallets supporting the testnet and and also moving into mainnet which is fantastic so uh that's you know, just a brief overview of where we're at. Phase one with uh, with the test net. If you go to, um, I'll actually just uh, do a quick uh, editing here. So maybe I should uh, stop doing that. Um, can you still see I'm in the uh, GitHub here? Yes. Yes. 
Great. Um, so for the plan, you can just click here and you can see the plan phases. Uh, currently, we're in this celebrate Stargate time, which is um, an opportunity for people to get familiar with the with the CLI and be sending some memos. People have been tweeting a little bit uh, and making sure there's links in the um, in their memos uh, and um, some blog posting and, and whatnot, just kind of getting people familiar with things. So that's where we're at in, uh, in testnet land. Um, so there's been a lot of chatter. There's so much interest, which we're really grateful for, for validators to join the community that uh, we're sort of over-enrolled for, which is, which is, um, which is exciting to have such a healthy validator community uh, in the ecosystem more broadly and and for Rita Network more specifically. So grateful for all the interest. People have been um, wanting to get in that didn't make it into the Gen TX. So we had a conversation, the lead validator kind of council, which is really an amazing part of how we run everything here. Um, had a conversation and we were just chatting about this actually right before the call and we sort of came up with the, the what seems fair to um, allow people who are running full nodes um, or maybe even uh, have a little bit of stake delegated but aren't uh, weren't necessarily part of Gen TX to um, join the active and incentivized pool of validators starting at phase two. So if you miss Gen TX, you're going to miss out on phase one, but you can qualify from phase two on, which there's an awful lot of things to come. Um, we are just sort of um, making the statement that folks who have lost their private keys are just going to be disqualified. We're not going to allow people to spin up a new node with a new uh, key pair and and link that to your identity. Um, it's not fair for all the folks who are kind of on the wait list. And then, um, also, just generally, if people are not, whatever the reason, if you're not up and running by phase two, uh, we're going to sort of remove you from the, the eligible pool for rewards. So, um, but th all that means is that there's space for people. So if you're a community member who's who's excited and missed Gen TX and may already be running a full node or has been considering it, please do. There will be some slots opening up, it looks like, to join the incentivized pool. Uh, I would note, uh, I didn't put this in the bullet points, but the folks who are joining um, post phase two won't be included, their rewards won't be included in the Genesis block of mainnet. We simply can't manage the KYC and sort of contract uh, pipeline with that short of a turnaround, but we will uh, set aside a little um, wallet with those rewards and we'll distribute them to your to an address that you can uh, give us after mainnet launch. Uh, so, and it'll follow the same one year lock uh, rule, but we'll, we'll get your rewards after, you won't be included in Genesis. So that's, that's gonna be sort of part of, the, part of the puzzle here to make it all work with the logistics of getting a, a bootstrapping a decentralized testnet. So um, I'm gonna just take a pause and see if there's any questions about this because this has been one of the more common conversations on Discord, I think. So. Um, do folks uh, on the call have any questions or comments about that? Cool. Um, I'll take that as a no and we're good to go. So uh, just moving on to some big, uh, some bigger ecosystem news. The first thing you've probably seen it plastered all over our channels and whatnot, but I didn't, you know, last time we had a community dev call, which was a month ago, we hadn't made this public, but we sold all of last year's vintage of credits, uh, soil carbon credits to Microsoft. It's really great to get that kind of affirmation of our approach uh, from one of the bigger players in the space. Microsoft, for those of you who don't know, made a commitment to offset 100% of their uh, the carbon that has ever been emitted by the company since its founding in Bill Gates' garage, and including people running Windows and Microsoft Word and whatever for all these years, which is really cool. It's kind of climate action that we're big supporters of, uh, and we're happy to help them make that pledge reality. So that's that's a cool little bit of news from our world. And um, 
you know, the other news, maybe more specifically for this community is leave Telegram, come to Discord. There's a link right there. Uh, we'll, of course, as always, make this little uh, presentation live. Um, it's just easier to manage a community over on Discord. So <laughs> come join us. Um, do a quick uh, uh, Notion roadmap upgrade. I I'm actually... To my chagrin, I'm not 100% sure that uh, we've been keeping this as up to date as we'd like to, but we do like to uh, keep ourselves honest here and do a quick roadmap. You can always see this public facing roadmap with the work that is underway in our world. So we've got region, ledger, things that are moving. Uh, we've got the Cosmos SDK, things that are moving, lots of work happening. Uh, registry, and this is the user user uh, sort of application for being able to list, buy, sell, and retire carbon credits, which then links into region ledger, the blockchain. Um, and then the science team is always very busy. So there's a lot of work happening. Uh, and I have just really have to give kudos to the science team, which was really responsible for that Microsoft carbon purchase. They innovated a, a, a new methodology for using remote sensing to uh, monitor and quantify sort of organic matter. So it's uh, good work to them. Um, this intersection of, of blockchain and science is really kind of unique, I think, to region network. So, um, and then as always, our work in open team and we um, are excited about what's happening there. Some of this stuff we hope is gonna get tested in the test net uh, and we'll see you know, how fast everything happens as any big complex open source uh, community initiative, which uh, which Open Team and Cosmos SDK and Region Network are all uh, open source, so roadmaps tend to be a little bit more flexible, maybe. But um, so that's just a quick overview of our roadmap. Feel free to you know be tuned into that to just kind of keep progress, keep process. And for those of you who are team members on the call, we'll, let's like mental note. Let's all make sure to keep that up to date. Um, all right, and then the last little bit of news before I conclude is uh, this is a link to a new public Google Calendar that's focused on the test nets. So if you want to know when an upgrade is or when these community meetings are, and just kind of keep track of that, you can you know uh, uh, get this uh, Google Calendar into your system there, and we'll try to keep it up to date. In addition, of course, to the announcements channel on Discord. So um, with that, we're act actually escalating these community calls to weekly. So there'll be another one next week. I'll just change that right there. <laughs> um, the same time, same station. We may shift the time if people in the community need a different time zone so that uh, we're open to that. Ping us on Discord about that. So we're going to be doing weekly calls as we go through the, the, the test net process. Um, and uh, yeah, look forward to having having folks on. So with that, I'm gonna pause. Um, it's been sort of just a monologue of me giving the new, news. So I'm gonna pause and open it up if people have uh, questions, um, comments, concerns, by all means, uh, this is the venue to ask them. Don't be shy. You can also uh, just chat something if something's emerging. Um, if you've got a question about phase one, what's happening, uh, if you've got a question about um, any clarification around our um, just sort of any turnover in, in the active validator set and how that relates to incentives, uh, you know, feel free to ask. Um, I, I know folks aren't shy in Discord, and and that's fine too. We can, uh, we we will continue to be tuned in to the Discord channel, of course. While everybody's thinking of some questions, I just wanted to say thank you to the community that's been active on Discord. Um, you've been a lot of help, support, you know, supporting any of the new people that are, you know, kind of not really familiar with the the process of validating. Um, thank you to those community members for helping, 
it, it's a lot of help to me um, and Gregory for sure, as well as Anil. So we really appreciate you guys. Anil, do you want to just uh, do a quick overview of this upcoming um, sort of like uh, flooding the system with transactions phase and uh, yeah. Yeah, so the next task in the testnet is uh, like uh, spamming the network with uh, transactions. So we are going to reward the people who make uh, uh, most number of transactions. We are expecting more like uh, more than 5,000 transactions from single uh, validator. So there are going to be a, a lot of transactions happening for the next uh, three to four days. And then, yeah, we'll test the, we'll stress this, the uh, system, and then maybe benchmark some performance. And uh, yeah, there are uh, some bonuses for there. There are uh, bug bounty program as well. And yeah, if you find any uh, uh, severe bugs, uh, you'll get be, you'll get rewarded for those as well. Yeah, yep. uh, it's very exciting. So, so this this sort of stress testing and spam testing the network is uh, is really important. And um, there's been some chatter I've been following. People asking, uh, you know, um, so you can look back over the the validator Discord. Some folks had questions, and and Anil was answering stuff there. Um, yeah, it's exciting. It's going to be we're going to see how it performs with a, a whole lot of transactions from everybody. So um, it should be fun. Actually, we'll voice a, a question from the community um, that they've been talking about on Discord. So is there going to be uh, how how are we planning on managing that? Will there be like a script that we'll be providing for people to be able to perform the 5000 transactions? Or are we going to want them to to copy and paste or are we even having them come up with the script like that we let the validators innovate there so they need to write their own scripts because it, it would be simple uh, so it, they just need to execute the transactions in a loop and they can they just need to manage you know multiple uh, accounts so that they, they can just send multiple transactions at a time yeah i think uh, people are already aware of that and then there are some uh, open source scripts as well. So, yeah, we are expecting some innovation from the validators there. Okay, great. Yeah, it'll be it'll be exciting to see what what people come up with. But yeah, it does seem pretty straightforward. Just uh, loop it and and go for it. So I I'm personally really excited about this part. I love stress tests, and uh, it sounds like we're really gonna hammer it hard. So I'm I'm stoked to see what happens. Fantastic. And then, uh, you know, the, just the last little bit I'll share, you know, uh, as we've discussed, the end of phase one uh, is on, um, I believe, the 18th will upgrade in and start phase two. And that's when folks who missed out on the Gen TX will be eligible to start receiving rewards if they're in the active validator set. So um, yeah, uh, just just a reminder, you know, if you missed out on Gen TX, uh, we are definitely paying attention and, you know, contributions and engagement and keeping a full node up and running. These are all, you know, really valued. Uh, we're, we're, they're not going unnoticed. So we appreciate folks who are engaging in that way. And then you'll be able to sort of hop on board uh, phase two if there's spots. So, um, yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I just wanna add, um, we're getting so close now. I think we, you'd mentioned we have, yeah, roughly six, six hours left for people to get their KYC in. So if you could just be diligent and make sure that you get your documents to us um that way we can we can handle it there's been a lot of submissions already but i just want to make sure that everybody who is currently in meaning that they submitted their gen tx and they're active as of now um gets that 
documentation or the documents to uh, validators at region.network so we can process that immediately. I just wanna just wanna stress that it's really important for everybody to get it done as soon as possible. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Um, cool, well, um, I think that that's probably it. Um, thank you all for for joining us if there's not any uh other questions we'll uh we'll conclude the meeting for today and look forward to seeing you all next week and uh we will have um uh we'll be present in discord so if you got questions you know hit us up over there if you need better documentation put in a pr and on github and let us know where we can improve things and uh until next week um Happy regenerating. <laughs>